What's going on, guys? I'm Bodie. I'm Aikman. And today, we're doing another episode of the Fernandez Bros. Show. Today, we're going to be talking about the first, second, and the third round of Arizona State. Let's hop straight into it. So, I just want to first say the first round, they played at Sweetwater. Um, they had the new back nine as well. And the second round, and the third round, they played the second round at T-Bird this morning, and then the third round this afternoon at the Con at Conocido, but they used the Conquest layout. Um, they, in fact, are going to use Buffalo Ridge, but they added the Conquest instead. But, Aiken, how about you just give us some insight about the MPO? All right, so we're glad that we're able to do some coverage on very, the very local event. Um, there's no state championships. It's presented by the Dish Shack, a great local disc store if you're in the Phoenix area. Um, it's off of Bell Road. So let's start with the MPO. It has been a heavily contested division. Very much. Um, going back and forth. Uh, and so there's been some changes throughout the rounds. But the first round, the leader was uh, it was a three-way tie. It was Cade Filmahala, Anthony Barella, and Nicholas Duran. They all tied at nine down. Going to the second round, Anthony was able to make a little bit of a separation between First and second, Nicholas Durand in the second round finished 17 down, and Anthony uh, finished 21 down. Remember, these are total scores. These are not round scores. Yes. This is total score. And so Anthony has just been able to solidify his lead as first in the third round by that much more. Right now, he's 28 down, and then Jake Brown and Connor Rock and Nicholas Durand are all tied for second at 22 down. Nicholas Durand, uh, we have a great relationship with him. We're rooting him on. Uh, but we also like to see Anthony Brella win. He's a local professional. Uh, it's pretty cool to see Jake Brown there because I know that he's kind of new to the Arizona scene. He's from San Clemente, California. So it's kind of cool to see him um, doing great at his first ever Arizona State. So it's cool to see that. We know this is a heavily contested division. Very much. We have professionals coming across from different parts of the country like Andrew and Cade. Are coming across the whole entire country. Is it come uh, here? Yeah, Jordan Castro's in the event. Jordan too. Castro, Jordan yeah. Well. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to see. Um, I'm just gonna go off with some of the other pro divisions. With the open women, we have Laura Alaco. Alaco. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, but she is at number one with um, seven strokes of separation. Um, so it's gonna be really cool to see if Hannah can, who's in second place at 22 down, actually 22 up, can make a little push for. Um, top position. Looks like Laura will probably yeah. it looks secure like, that win. It, it looks like a pretty big solidification of just it's pretty. It's a pretty far gap that you need to cover for Sweetwater. It's a solid lead. Yeah. All right, and the MP40, which our dad is competing in, his name is Paul Fernandez. Um, you know, it's, it, yeah, smoking the competition. Some good, some good competitors in the MP40 division. We have David Taylor Jr. We have Michael Bugby. We have our dad. We have Tommy Guns. Tommy we have Guns. Jeff Wilson. There. Nolan. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of notable names here. Um, I just want to add something real quick and say first of all, um, first first place is P.U. Bear by 16 down. He has four strokes of separation between him and Chris Waugh. Um, so the first time he shot five down at Seawater, which is really good with one double, well, actually one bogey, which is pretty good. Second round, eight down at Thunderbird, which is kind of what you're expecting from a professional a of, his, of his caliber. caliber to shoot at Thunderbird. The third round, he shot three down at the Conquest layout, which I know is respectable, but shooting five or six down is what the other pros were shooting, like Tommy was shooting. A good four down, close to six down. Um, a lot of these people were shooting four downs. So having some more strokes over Chris Waugh coming to Sweetwater, which you never know what can happen. There's a lot of OB, a lot of Mandos there. Well, let me see you never Chris, know what can happen. How did Chris Waugh do in round number one? I'm trying to find. He shot, he shot four, four down. downs. So four downs. He shot be, consecutive three, four downs. It's going to be tight going into the fourth round. Um, Pete Ulibarri has got that four-stroke lead. And you also never know what happens at Sweetwater because – you have some really long holes, some short holes that are kind of technical. A lot I know of they have, shrubbery. I know they have a lot of OB in this tournament and some Mando, so you never really know what's going to happen. But my predictions is Pete Uliberry is going to come in, come in, come in first with Chris, Chris Watt and Robert Craig very close behind them. But I think Pete's going to get about 18, 19, 20 down, something, like, something in there, and Chris is going to push it to like 17. Um, Robert's probably going to get around 15. That's my prediction to the top three. I'd like to see uh, Tommy 
and Nolan do better. Also, um, you going into that last round, be able to yeah. climb the ranks. We know them both, so we're rooting them on. Hopefully, Dad is able to climb some ranks as well. Also, you can't count. You can't really count anyone off the top four here because, I mean, I know Steve here shot a pretty good round of Sweetwater the first round, but I mean, if you can get four, five birdies with no bogeys at Sweetwater at the last day, it's going to be very, very impressive. All right. What divisions should we move on to now? Let's go to the junior divisions. Mm -mm. You want to cover the junior division? So, so just the MJ 18? MJ 15. Let's go off there. Okay. Um, Braden Neff and Evan Korai were in this division. Braden Neff is up by three. He's nine up, and Ivan is 12 up. Good job, Braden. You're doing a great job. So going, it'd be really cool to see you as an Arizona State champion. So going into the final round, let's see how they did. Both of them shot three over at Sweetwater the first round. So with a three-stroke separation, and again, like we were saying, the Pro 40s, with them competing well, both evenly, at the Sweetwater in the first round, going into Sweetwater in the last round, it, you can't count anybody out. So what's the second round for um, juniors? Was that... Conquest. Yeah, the Conquest. So, five down at the Conquest. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the juniors, it looks like they did uh, Thunderbird. For first. the second round? No, for the first round. I know they did. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, let's, just, let's cover it off. Let's go Evan first. First round, Evan, he shot three up, which is for Sweetwater. I haven't played the back nine, but I know there's some difficult shots and difficult throws. But period, Thunderbird with the back nine that we had for our tournament. That is very impressive. Um, three up is very impressive. Good, good. Really good round. Second round, he shot a even at... Yes, this is the Conquest layout. So he shot even at the Conquest layout, which is pretty good. He only had two birdies. So if he could have upped that, a few more birdies, maybe like five with like two, two three bogeys, get himself to about two, three down, that would be pretty good for a score right about now. But still, three actually, even's really good for the Conquest. And Sweetwater, you know, he didn't do his best. He shot nine up, but... Sweet a lot of things can happen at Sweetwater. Sweetwater is a really difficult course. Yeah. Brayden with his first round shooting three up as well at Thunderbird. Um, pretty good. At the Conquest, he got a whopping five down. That's pretty good. I know there are some difficult shots there. So that's pretty good. And then around three, 11 over at Sweetwater. If he would have just got that five, six more strokes down, that would have been definitely a... He would have solidified the win just right then and there. Um, how about you cover the recreational? So, going into the fourth round right now, Seth Poling leads the recreational division at eight over, and he only has a one-stroke lead. Eric Dunton uh, at nine over. And so, they both played Sweetwater. And so, going to the fourth round, they played Thunderbird. And they played Thunderbird the first round. And Seth Poling finished even that round. Eric Dunton finished three down. That's so pretty good for going Thunderbird. Going into this... Final round, again, it looks really contested yeah. with the competitors. I mean, look at the, the final scores from the first round. Eric finished under, while Seth finished even. So with a one-stroke lead, Seth might lose that if he's only going to shoot even. It actually looks like the Recreational only played three. No, never mind. I just can't see the fourth round for some other reason. I guess it doesn't show you where they're playing. Oh, Thunderbird. It says on the top. I'm an idiot. Um, Thunderbird. So, I mean, if that keeps up with... Eric shooting three down or someone like that final day, then and Seth, you know, with the lead, a little nervous, shooting even is not gonna do it for him. I think he's gonna have to shoot about two down to get somewhere on the somewhere somewhere above Eric, don't you think? Yeah. Um shout out to some other players we know. Xander Seal right now in the intermediate division is at two up. He is two back from the lead. He's tied for third. Sweet. Um and Xander, we hope that you pull through. They're going into their fourth round. They're going to be playing at Thunderbird. And his first round at Thunderbird, he finished two down. So hopefully he's able to make some moves and climb some ranks to pull out the first. Let me see. Any other players that we know? Looks like Drew Putnam is in there. I haven't seen him on any tournaments in a while. I might just be mistaken. I haven't seen him in a little while on tournaments. But good to see him. Um, I think the last the last division we're going to cover is let's do, let's do MA1. So first of all, Ben Meyer. Ben Mayer, Meyer, Mayer, I think. What'd you call it, Mayer? I think that'd be Mayer. Um, ben Mayer having a three-stroke lead coming into the conquest. Is that Meyer? I 
not exactly sure. Ben, I'm sorry for butchering. We're sorry for butchering your name. I'm pretty sure that's Mayor. Mayor, we're sorry Meyer, for butchering Mayor. your name. But still, you're doing great. Six down, five down for, on this first round at the Conquest, which is in, absolutely incredible. Um, That's just amazing for the Conquest. Second round, two down at Sweetwater, which is pretty respectable. I know there are some pretty bad scores uh, at Sweetwater, especially for the pros. This third round, shooting a, shooting a one over at Thunderbird. That's actually like one of the, that's like the one course that you would be expecting to go down and shoot eight down right there for a pro or for, for like a pro. I mean, or I, for I, like an MA1. You expect them to shoot like five down. It's been a while since I played Thunderbird, but it's, I know that there's tall grass, you it's, have the wash, you have all the shrubbery that Sweetwater has. But still, um, I think they trimmed it up. Obviously they trimmed it up, but um, there's still some very short holes that are really gettable and really needed to get hole one. For Thunder, um, hole one for Thunderbird looks like they made it a par three, but on some of these holes, I don't know if they changed the par a lot. But on some of these holes, you just gotta get there. You gotta get it. You gotta get these. You gotta get these birdies. You gotta eliminate bogeys. But um, Ben, you are doing fantastic, and in second place, very close behind him, three strokes behind him, Ryan Merig, Merwig, Merwig, Merig, Merig. We're sorry for butchering these people's names. I'm sorry. We're very sorry. But R Ryan is doing fantastic, shooting three down at Thunderbird, which is what you're expecting. Three to five down is what you're expecting for an advanced player, so that's pretty good. And then Patrick's still in the running at one down. It's pretty tight in all the, all the areas, pretty much. Well, let's let's find a uh, women's division real quick. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Uh, Heather Putman is playing in the... MA40, I think. Congrats. She's actually doing very good for these three, three courses. Um... FA50. Megan Walden is, uh, we worked with her before. Megan yes. Walden's in the FA1 right now. She's six behind the lead. Uh, right now she's at 47 plus and she's one behind Kylie. Uh, she's second to Kylie, who's at first, and she's 41 up. And they're going to be playing the Conquest layout for their final round. I'm trying to see Conquest. Megan, in her first round of the Conquest, shot 17 over. Kylie shot five over. Hopefully Megan can pull through. We're rooting for you, Megan. Here. We're rooting for you. Just want to... Let's do one more division. Let's go Pro 60 because Pro 60 isn't a division you get a whole lot of people in. Um, we Patrick have, Barella, is that... Uh, Ed Barella is dead, yeah. We haven't... The reason why for our tournaments we really haven't posted MP50... Actually, MP60 is because you really don't expect that many people to come in, but it's great to see these competitors out there. Um, Scott and Raymond and Patrick all doing very good. Um, it all looks within, like actually, yeah, it's all within really it's possibility. All within four, four strokes. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Patrick has shot pretty good rounds, four and three over, four over, four over, and three over. It's gonna be really interesting because I see a lot of a lot of um, com I see a lot of possibilities here. I mean, for example, Thunderbird for Raymond, he shot even, while the other guys like Scott shot. Even, and I think Patrick shot four over. So, I mean, there's a lot of possibilities, but it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. But that's about all the time we have today. We just wanted to get in and do a quick little talk about the Arizona States. But hope you all enjoyed. God loves you. God bless you. Have a great day and bye.